नमस्कार वी ऑफन फेस सर्टन थिंग्स लाइक इन सोमनिया हेड एक आई प्रॉब्लम एंड मेनी सच हेल्थ इश्यूज येस ऑल दीज फैक्टर आर डेफिनेटली ड्यू टू आर स्ट्रेसफुल लाइफ स्टाइल एंड अनहेल्दी हैबिट्स बट वन मोर फैक्टर विच प्लेज अ क्रूशियल रोल इन दीज प्रॉब्लम इज द इम्बैलेंस ऑफ आग्ना चक्र सो वॉट इज आग्ना चक्र एंड हाउ कुड वी बैलेंस इट टू प्रिवेंट ऑल दीज प्रॉब्लम आग्ना चक्र और अ थर्ड आई चक्र इज अ चक्र of intuition imagination and self realization it is located between the eyebrows at the center of your head this chakra brings the connection between the external world to inner perception concentrating on agna chakra enables us to think beyond materialistic desire and focus on greater reality balancing the agna chakra requires patience and dedication this can help to overcome various issues like eye problem headaches insomnia confusion clogged sinuses hearing issues anxiety disorders in the pituitary and pineal gland and many more health problems so how can we balance the agna chakra first tratak tratak is one of the best technique to balance this third eye chakra you can either focus on the tip of the flame or natural sunlight this helps to direct all distracting thoughts to non disturbing focal points candle gazing sit in a comfortable position and stare at the flame of the candle or any object till tears flow from your eyes or your eyes get wet be sure that you don't over strain your eyes blink your eyes in between second sun gazing stare at one point within the rising or setting sun especially when sun is orangish red and not very strong continue till your eyes get watery and then gently palm your eyes second meditate on the space between the eyebrows sit in any comfortable meditative pose like sukhasana or padmasana keep your spine straight gently close your eyes and focus on the space between the eyebrows take a deep breath imagine a bright positive light beam is entering that space and while exhaling let go of all the negativity meditate around 5 to 10 minutes beginners might face some problems in the beginning like headache or heavy head but this problem will subside with continuous practice third brahmari pranayam brahmari pranayam or humming bee breathing can have a beneficial effect on agna chakra the buzzing sound resonates in the head region and in turn its resonance radiates and reverberate in every cell of our body sit comfortably in any meditative posture remember to keep your mouth and your lips closed throughout the practice first inhale fully and while exhaling create the sound of humming as long as you can and that would be a wonderful feeling do this very slowly and gradually the sound need not be very loud but it should create vibrations repeat 4 to 5 times and it would help you to soothe the nervous system and also increase focus and concentration over time you will feel significant change in yourself by balancing the agna chakra not only will you improve your health but will also gain clarity self awareness and emotional stability you will feel more confident in your ability to trust your own intuition and make a sound judgment so practice these techniques which i have shared with you and get all the benefits try and try again till you succeed namaskar